What's going on guys? All muscle. Signing back in here. Uh, we had this coyote build going on here. Uh, last thing I think we showed was the uh, crank install. Uh, the uh, uh, journals were polished. Uh, crank was installed uh, with the uh, cleavite bearing set and then uh, also the ARP uh, stud kit. And we, I think we went over that here in the last video. But uh, moving on here. So uh, next step is, is going to be obviously the pistons. The connecting rods, obviously the piston rings, the connecting uh, rod bearings, all those are going to go in as a uh, as a complete unit. So uh, what I've got here is a connecting uh, connecting rod set. This is the Manly uh, 14042R-8. These are the ones with the ARP 2000 bolts. Uh, they give you the average weight here uh, of the big end and the pin end. So these are uh, already uh, set up on their on the box there for you. Also. Uh, this is the uh, Forge Piston Set 598-400C-8. Now these are the, uh, let, me, uh, let me tell you, the Coyotes actually run a 11 to 1 compression ratio factory. Uh, we uh, opted to bring it down. I want to bring it down to 10 to 1. So these are the pistons here with the negative 2.5 cc. Um, and this is basically going to drop the compression ratio for you to about 10 to 1. Uh, and then there's also the gram, <coughs> gram weight here, three, uh, 364 to 365. Uh, what I did find, and usually is the case, we, we, uh, uh, we, we set these up. And you know, here's, here's Manley's. Basically, this is what Manley writes on the box, 178. Uh, and then as you can see, they're all... Uh, you know, almost, uh, almost there, uh, but there is a discrepancy uh, right off the bat. All every single time with my scale versus their scale, and I don't know why that is. But uh, and I know my scale is solid, so I don't know why that is. I don't know if they just run hundreds of these through their scales, and uh, maybe I haven't been calibrated in a while. But uh, so what I did is I took I took the combination of these two weights and I just wrote it down in the middle here, uh, just for uh, for me uh, to know. So also. Uh, another thing that I did, and I'll show you here, on one of these, uh, as you can see, I, I numbered every single one of them so that I knew uh, which uh, rod I was working on all the time, and I, I kept it uh, with its corresponding piston. As you can see, that one's numbered. Also number one, and there's your number one there. So I did that. Uh, but anyways, uh, in order to uh, balance these out, so you're gonna need you're gonna need this equipment here. Actually, also what you're gonna need is a uh, some scotch. So, anyways, uh, when you do drink your scotch, make sure you got a nice glass, a nice, nice scotch glass, just like this. And then uh, you're gonna want some rocks. And then the rocks, uh, very important not to use those uh, uh, those crappy rocks that come out of your refrigerator, out of that filtered water out of your refrigerator. Uh, you end up getting a bunch of bunch of shit in there. You're going to want some clean rocks, like some uh, reverse osmosis uh, type uh, rocks, you know, sparklets or Aquafina or whoever, uh, uh, you know, makes the ice or whatever. But anyways, those are usually, uh, the ice bags that you buy, they're usually RO, uh, and that stands for reverse osmosis, and they're very clean. And then when you when you drink it, you, you don't get any uh, other flavors besides uh, what the whiskey is. And uh, right now we're drinking on this here, the uh, Johnny Walker Double Black. It's a good little drinker. But uh, that's, uh, that's off, off topic there. Uh, anyways, you're going to want a good scale. What I got here is a uh, Mettler uh, Toledo scale. And uh, these scales uh, are, are solid. Uh, they last for years. And they're, you know, I think this is a 1980-something a scale and it's still rocking. But uh, anyways, also you're going to need this jig now. Usually uh, this jig with this jig here, uh, you're going to want your scale set in the middle here. And then this would be reversed, basically flipped around just like this. Uh, but since my scale is, is way larger than what would fit on this uh, platform here, I just basically turn this uh, deal around and then I used it just the same way, but uh, balanced it out. And then uh, this is the other part of the jig that goes uh, with this jig. It is supposed to sit on the center of the scale. Obviously it would be uh, right in here. Uh, also what you don't want uh, is if you're using this jig, once you set it up, now I don't have it set up right here, I, I've already done this, but uh, once you set it up, you're going to want to make sure that neither one of these uh, these plates, this, this, this whole thing, once you set it up and you line up uh, your, uh, your rods, 
uh, perfectly. You're not going to want either one of these to move because if you're as you're taking the rods on and off, uh, you're gonna you're gonna nudge this that way or nudge that that way. Uh, so what I did is I used some double-sided tape uh, right down here. Uh, and I set this on here just for right now. Uh, and then this guy is a little bit heavier, so as long as you don't, uh, uh, you know, handle it too rough, uh, it won't move. So as long as you get that uh, dialed in and centered, um, or when, when you're looking at the rod, it's straight this way. And then also, uh, you'll need a small level. Actually, I don't, I don't show that here, but you'll need a small level. Uh, and then when you put your rod across here, you'll put the, uh, the level uh, right, in this, right in this valley here. Uh, and then you'll make sure that it's level uh, by adjusting this guy up and down. So, uh, Also, like I said, you're going to need the scale, you're going to need this jig, uh, but also you're going to make sure that your scale is uh, accurate. So what you're going to need is to make sure that the scale is accurate. So that is a 1 kg, and it's 1,000 kilograms. And uh, I'm sorry, it's 1 kilograms, 1,000 grams, uh, and that's what that reads right there. Uh, and that's already... Uh, accounting for that guy at zero. We've already teared the scale. But anyways, uh, after you set your scale uh, and make sure that it's, uh, you know, uh, set up in uh, a lower and a higher end bracket, like such as a thousand grams, and then your 200 grammer right here, and it's still, it's still dead on. So uh, we're good to go there. <clears throat> so we've already balanced these out, guys. Uh, and what we came up with uh, is something that uh, looks just like this. This is the complete piston and rod assembly with the uh, oil rings in. Uh, we have the uh, the uh, compression rings. Uh, we still have to file those down and and get those put on, but those those won't make a uh, those won't make a huge deal. But as you can see, we've got the com uh, combined weight here with the rod uh, wrist pin. Uh, we also have the the oil uh, oiling rings and uh, the piston itself and we're at 1094.2 that's on number one and we got these within a couple tenths of a gram uh, i wasn't shooting uh to be within the tenth you know i i kind of was but i kind of wasn't but anyways i'm very meticulous at uh, uh at everything that i do so that as you can see that's that's piston number piston set number two and we're at 1094.2 so that's dead that's dead money right there uh, we'll go to number three, and these are just piston one, two, three, four. Uh, I have seven, eight, uh, six, seven, eight, uh, or five, six, seven, eight in the box there. Again, 1094.2. That's dead money right there. And then we're going to go with number four. Let's see what this guy says. Ooh, 1094.1. So we're within we're within a tenth of a gram, which uh, you know I'm not going to cry about that. That's that's that for, to me that's perfect, uh, or damn near perfect. So um, I like that. And uh, you know I, if you're going to do this, I would suggest you do the same thing. You know, especially if you're doing it for yourself and not uh, you know uh, building something for somebody else. Or uh, if you're maybe a machinist and you do this every day, you kind of you know you probably uh, if it's within a half a gram, it's fine. But uh, if you do it for yourself, uh, you can kind of take a little bit more time and, and uh, get it done properly. But just to show you, this is the uh, stock setup off the uh, 5 liter uh, Boss 302. Uh, it's 11.28 in uh, grams. So you've got 1,128 grams. Uh, and of course, this already has the uh, two compression rings in it. Actually, what I'll do, Mike, can you do me a favor? Take those, uh, take those compression rings out of there. Just pull pull that uh, pull those two uh, rings out of there. Uh, I think the pliers are in here. Let's go take a look. Sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna pull the rings out, uh, and then uh, once I get the rings pulled, uh, we'll get a we'll get a uh, you know apples to apples uh, weight uh, for the two. Let's see what I got. Stuff in there. There we go. I got it in here somewhere. No, where the hell are they? Mike, where's my ring pliers, dude? Huh? Oh well, <coughs> you got them out of there? As you can see, that's uh, that hasn't been cleaned or anything. Uh, so there's going to be, I don't know, maybe a, a gram or so. 
uh, of garbage on there. We're going to take these and discard them. Is this the upper and the lower right here? Yeah. They're just set up exactly like that? Yeah. All right, let's see what the weight is on this. <clears throat> so the weight here, uh, we had 1094.2s or 1094s, uh, basically. Uh, and that this is the stock set up here. And we're at 11, 11. So we're, uh, six, uh, we're 17 grams. Uh, we're 17 grams heavier uh, on this piston, maybe maybe 16 if you were to clean all this uh, crap off of it. <clears throat> I mean, probably even less than that. So maybe 16 and a half to 17 grams heavier on the factory setup. And then uh, the Boss 302 actually uses, you know, the, your uh, powdered metal. They call them a sintered uh, powdered metal, uh, but it's still it's powdered metal. Uh, they're pretty solid. I mean, they they they'll, they'll run for. I mean, I've seen them. I've seen people put superchargers just directly on this uh, this setup right here, uh, and then uh, there's the mall uh, forged piston uh, that they run from the factory. So this is a uh, factory piston setup, and uh, what did we say? We're saving 17 grams uh, off of the uh, off of the unit there, off of uh, one of these uh, sets uh, versus uh, one of these. So, um, anyways, uh, that's uh, basically uh, when you do this. Let me show you uh, where we took weight off. <clears throat> so when we took weight off of the piston, uh, we took it off in this section here. And again, it was it was very minimal. So we took it off right on this edge and then along here. Uh, and that's where we took the weight off of that. And then I believe this was the lightest uh, of the connecting rods, so we didn't take any material off of that. That one looks like it was still uh, it was still fresh. But uh, if you look at this one here. You can see that it's been uh, it's been uh, sanded, and uh, what we did is we just took material off until where are we get there. There we go. Jesus, this thing's okay. So you can see it's been sanded, and uh, what we did was we sat there on the uh, belt sander. Uh, here's my belt sander right over here, uh, and then we just sat here and and uh, pretty much uh, took material off just like this uh, until we uh, reached the desired weight. And uh, again, we, you know, uh, when we uh, when we did this, we took our time on it. So, uh, you know, if you take too much material off, that's not going to be a good thing. So come back to the to the sander back and forth as many times as you need to, uh, just because if you take uh, too much material off, uh, let's say piston uh, or uh, connecting rod number eight uh, ends up being the one that you took too much material off, uh, and then uh, basically what you're trying to Try not to do is take too much material off because if you do that, then you're going to have to go back and take material off. Uh, you're, let's say uh, uh, connecting rod number eight becomes your lightest, then you're going to have to go back and take weight uh, uh, weight off of all of uh, all seven of the uh, rest of them to, to match the lightest. So you definitely don't want to do that. So just keep paying attention to your uh, what you're doing and write everything down. This is. Uh, for example, this is all the stuff I wrote down uh, in order to do this job here. <clears throat> Let's see, so small small end after sanding, uh, total weight after sanding. Uh, we did, you know, we did weight, we wrote down weights uh, for pretty much everything that we, that we did. And as you can see here, uh, the numbers uh, corresponding uh, rods correspond to the numbers. Uh, and then, you know, big ends, small ends. Uh, and then, yeah, we just write everything down. Uh, make sure you uh, take your time. You go slow. Uh, this is basically a little price list of, of what I anticipated. I think I anticipated all this here uh, from the get-go. So this, uh, I haven't totaled it out yet, but oh, maybe I did. I think I might have about 3,900 into this setup here, but uh, I don't know if that's accurate. I don't know if that's accurate. I might have to go over that. I wrote that down a while back. Uh, but anyways, uh, again, uh, from from your, let's see here, the rods, uh, 614.6, I'm trying to find uh, what the actual weight of these big ends versus little ends uh, uh, started before I did anything. Okay, so here, I think this is, I think this is it here. Uh, let's see, so number one is 176.9, and then here. As you can see, it's 178.3. That's what Manly wrote, and this is what I got. So don't worry if you don't get if you don't get this uh, number on your scale. Don't worry about that. Uh, a lot of times it's not going to be accurate. 
and uh, you know, uh, I guess I guess you should worry about it if you don't trust your scale. Uh, so I have to take that back. If you don't trust your scale and you don't know that your scale is calibrated, uh, then yes, uh, you might want to uh, look into a better scale or uh, make sure your scale is calibrated. So that's definitely a big deal. So uh, get a good scale. You know, those uh, cheap uh, knockoff scales, they sell. I, I don't trust those, and uh, so I don't buy them. So anyways, I get a good solid unit. It's been around for years. Uh, I, you know, make sure it's calibrated every time I use it, and uh, it's good to go. Uh, essentially, every time you move a scale from one location to the next, it needs calibration. So uh, just make sure that you do that, uh, and you should be good to go. Uh, so right now, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put these, uh, we're going to install the pistons into the uh, block, and then I'll uh, update you guys from there. It's starting to get a little chilly out here. So I'm going to get this all put away. Uh, the wife just got here. Uh, so we're going to have dinner. We're going to put this stuff away, uh, and then... Uh, uh, we'll update you as soon as I get that installed. Uh, after that, uh, we're going to be looking to do uh, oil pump gears and uh, a, a back cover here uh, for the rear main. So you guys stay tuned. Uh, see you guys soon and uh, be safe out there.